Look who's back. Finally got my green screen going again. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited because I get to mess around and I can just put any background I want now. So, you know what? I'm going to China. And I'm going to Japan. And now I'm going to London. And I'm going to France. And now I'm going to your underpants. This is Indie Spotlight. Welcome to Indie Spotlight, the show where we take news, trailers, and new releases, and we get them out there for you guys to check out. I'm your host, Kyle Locke, and as always, we are starting with trailers this week, and the first trailer that we have for you is Maltita Castilla? Maldita Castilla. Maldita Castilla, I think. Maldita Castilla. Ghosts and Goblins. trailer it looks like ghosts and goblins i mean it looks like the exact same type of game uh it's free it's going to be free when it comes out um it looks really cool it looks like the arcade version of ghosts and goblins um very tough game if it's going to live up to that um so uh if, if that's any indicator this game is going to be rough it's going to be very hard very difficult but a great challenge um, so I'm actually really excited for it because I loved Ghosts and Goblins, even though I got my ass kicked every time I played it. Uh, I never got past the first level, so uh, I'm excited to see how this turns out. Uh, it looks like it's going to be very cool, uh, so I can't wait. The next trailer that we have for you this week is Chrono Blast. talking the trailer chrono blast is trying to be the next big bullet hell type uh, over the top shooter game i personally have kind of a love hate relationship with bullet hell games just because i think they're really cool and i love over the top shooters just in general uh i really like you know like strikers 1945 um uh, uh, uh the red and black uh oh ikaruga um those kinds of games those are a lot of fun uh, at the same time uh, when it comes to super, super difficult bullet hell games, 
I usually get my ass kicked. <laughs> so I'm going to try it, but uh, I usually get beat pretty hard with those games. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, it looks very cool. It's gonna be on Xbox Live Indie Games, so I'm excited. The final game that we have for you this week is Beatdown. <laughs> Beatdown is going to be an iOS beat em up style game. Uh, it looks very cool. Uh, the, the frame rate looks really, really smooth. The, the gameplay looks very, very polished. Um, super excited to see how it turns out. I love that there's so many games going back to kind of old school um, type styles. Um, I love beat em up games. I loved things like Streets of Rage, uh, Final Fight. Th those kinds of games were awesome. So uh, I'm always excited to see a new beat em up come out. Um, hopefully it comes out to Android since I'm an Android person, um, so here's hoping. Alright, the first bit of news that we have for you this week is actually about a project that I don't know how many people know about. Uh, I was a personal fan of it when it first came out. Uh, there's a game called Peer Solar. Uh, it was actually originally released for the Sega Genesis uh, like a couple years ago, which is always surprising when there are new games being made for old systems. I mean, for a while back there was a Dreamcast game that just came out, and this was well beyond the death of the Dreamcast. Um, so for people to still be making games for older systems is awesome. So you can actually go and buy this game for Genesis. You'll get a Genesis cartridge, you'll get a Genesis case. It's like $30, $30 or $40. Um, I mean, I recommend it if you have a Genesis to, to do that just for the novelty of it. But uh, they actually have a Kickstarter account right now where they're trying to raise money in order to make it and I uh, to make a high definition version. So uh, they're looking to bring it to Xbox Live, uh, to PC, Mac, Linux, and Dreamcast. Ironically, so if you want to see Pure Solar, which is an RPG game brought to newer consoles with an HD uh, look to it, uh, you can head over to their Kickstarter page. I played the demo for Pure Solar. It blew my mind. It was an amazing RPG for a Sega Genesis type title. Um, it was it was very Final Fantasy esque in my opinion. It was it was very fresh um, at the same time. So, if you're looking for a new type of RPG but has old elements to it, this is the game to get, and I highly recommend it. Based purely on the demo, and the demo itself was took me like uh, I think like 30 minutes. So it's it's a very very in depth demo. I highly recommend it. Go check it out. All right, and the second and third bit of news that we have for you is actually going to be about bundles. Uh, there is the Royale Indie Bundle for their Harvest. Uh, you're going to be getting seven games. And then there's also the Android uh, Bundle 4 um, from Humble Indie Bundle, uh, which comes with six games. So if you want to get either of those, the links are in the description. Um, you can go head over, take a look at what games they've got, and get some games. It's always fun. All right, new releases this week. We have... Partisan Nation. We have Slender's Night, which is a over-the-top view of Slender, but in a 2D game, which sounds interesting. So you might want to give that a shot if you're a Slender fan. Um, and Pushcat. All right, that does it for this week's Indie Spotlight. As always, if you have any information, news, trailers, whatever you want to let me know about, you can hit me up at Twitter at twitter.com slash Dazerin, Ryan at twitter.com slash Masterblood, or vvgtv at twitter.com slash vvgtv. As always, I'm your host, Kyle Locke, and I will see you next week where I'm going to be in Alaska. See? See? Alaska. Freaking Alaska. I love green screen. I'm so glad it's back. <sighs>